the individual we're about to listen to right now has every right to say, and I'm going to be specific, what he is about to say. Yes, that's a he. I believe you can say whatever you want to say. As a matter of fact, I'm not of the type of Christians who feel like I should have a some type of unchristian reaction because of words that people say about my God or about me or about my people, right? And as a minister of the gospel, listen, I speak about different things on this channel and I'm very serious about what I believe, but I'm also open-minded. The words you're about to hear are very disturbing. But these are the words of the individual, okay? And when they're done, I want to share a thought. I want to share a biblical position and then end this video. What I will never advocate for is for violence. I will never advocate for any of that. You know, I'm not of the Islamic faith. I don't think every time somebody insult my God, I need to like do some crazy things. You know, I don't believe that. But I will give warning. I will say, watch it. I will say, be careful. One of the reasons for that is because I serve a living God. He can defend himself. And guess what? He always does. And one thing I know about him, having, serving, having been serving him for so, for the past 16 years of my life, I'll tell you what, when he pays, he pays in full. All right, I'm going to let you listen to this. Like and subscribe to the page, click the bell icon for more. Let's take a listen to this video. Default vaginas are the divine gateway of life. Our species could not exist without them. I will never take that away from you because I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there are plenty of things an aftermarket vagina can do <laughs> that a stock vagina cannot. <laughs> like destroy the fabric of Western civilization as we know it. does that. Only mine. Only my pussy can murder the little baby Jesus before he even has a chance to start an apocalyptic death pool and ruin the world. That's miracle pussy. That is how I define good pussy. <laughs> I, I do also realize, of course, that that last joke may offend some Christians. And it is very important to me that you know <laughs> that I don't care. You know how delusional you have to be to think that what the doctors have put between your legs is an actual vagina, is it's an aftermarket vagina is that that's the that's the term that was used actually the reality is it's just an open wound it's a sore okay it it has the potential of being infected it has to be cared for it has to be properly dilated consistently or else it cannot function. You know how delusional you are to be to think that that is something to celebrate. But I'll give this individual credit for one thing, destroying Western civilization. That is exactly what this movement has done. I cannot say there is there's been a lot of things on the earth that has brought good and evil. There's been a lot of things that has brought good. Some things have brought nothing but evil. But when I think about this movement, I don't see any good. What I see is 
pure evil. Anti-family, anti-God, anti-society, anti-country, anti-truth, anti-common sense. You know, I don't, I don't wish evil in any man because for me, the Bible says a living dog is better than a dead lion. So I, I'm a man who lives in hope. And for the most part, I live a very peaceful life because I love quietness, stillness. I love to read. I love nature, right? I don't like animosity. I don't like crowds. I'm a very, I'm an introvert. Once I'm preaching, when, I, when I'm speaking the word, it's a different thing. <laughs> you know, I, the Holy Spirit takes control of this brother. But apart from that, I'm very, I'm a very simple individual. So I don't look for evil in every single individual. I usually try to see the beauty in everyone. Uh, this is one thing that's not beautiful. And the second thing I will say is, I don't have to fight for my God. As Christians, we don't have to wage war against, against this ideology. Let me explain to you why. In a way that we think we have to. This is a self-destructive movement. It will, it will fall apart on its own. It's one of those things, you give it enough time, it just implodes. Believe me, it's already imploding. The sad reality is, is the children, the manipulation, the lies and the deception, the people that are taken into this ideology, that are driven into this thing, you can no longer recognize them. They lose their psyche, they lose their personality, and they become a product to the medical institution of our society and they make money off of them. And it is just a sad ending and it's a crazy cycle. It breaks my heart because I get what the ideologues have been pushing for so long. And I don't know how people end up falling for this, but we live in a society that just lack of faith, lack of prayer and atheistic perspective. I think, plays a significant role and many more things could be blamed for this. But I will say when a society departs from God, this is what you get. Well, I don't wish evil because one thing I will say is this. God can take care of himself. Like the Bible says that Vengeance is mine in Romans chapter 12. I will repay, saith the Lord. The Bible says, He that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For what serve him and soweth, that also will he reap. And oftentimes, sowing is small. Reaping is great. You saw you sow a little seed in the ground and you reap a bountiful harvest, right? The same is true for wickedness. A little sin, but great consequences. There are consequences to these words. These words have consequences to them. I don't know what they're going to look like. Only the individual and God will know. But I'll leave this matter in the hand of the Lord. But I tell people, you're more than welcome to insult me, insult my God. Guess what? He can take care of himself. I wish and I pray that the Lord will forgive you, will shelter you in his love and give you a second chance that you may repent and enjoy the beauty and the bliss of eternal life and salvation in Christ Jesus. Know what it means to be free and to live in peace and to know that you're in a right standing with God, that you may be free from these bondage of chains 
that are binding you to make you cut your body in this and that, thinking that you are free when you are really a servant of corruption. I wish the individual understood this. My prayer is that they will come to this realization. But if they do not, mark my words, there will be consequences. Some of it will be unbearable. Like I said from the start of this video, when God pays, he pays in full. Thank you for listening. Share your thought and perspective with me. I want to hear from you. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.